It's a cornerstone of tort law. The party who caused the harm must be responsible for damages resulting from it. However, in the 1996 Wisconsin case of Gould v. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, we explore a case in which the court determined that this cornerstone would have to take a back seat to public policy. Roland Monaghan was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. After his condition deteriorated, his family had no choice but to admit him to the dementia unit at St. Croix Healthcare Center, a restricted healthcare facility. Monaghan was institutionalized because of his disorientation, potential for violence, and need for care. Sherry Gould was the head nurse of the center's dementia unit and took care of Monaghan on several occasions. St. Croix's records indicated that Monaghan was disoriented, resistant to care, and occasionally combative. When Monaghan wasn't physically restrained, he often wandered into other residents' rooms and resisted being removed by staff. On one of these occasions, Gould tried to get Monaghan back to his room by touching his elbow. He responded by knocking her to the floor. She sustained severe injuries as a result. Gould and her husband sued Monaghan and his insurance carrier, American Family Mutual Insurance Company, in trial court. The court found for Gould, an American family appealed. The appellate court reversed and remanded the trial court's judgment. Both parties sought review of the appellate court's decision by the Wisconsin Supreme Court.